friends, welcome back, or if you're new here, welcome! My name is Sid, I love houseplants, so I just make videos of me taking care of my plants, learning about plants, I'm pretty new to this all, so it's a learning curve. Um, today I am at home for the weekend, and my mom has this plant that she got from Free Cycle over the, in the fall, um, end of summer, in like the fall, end of summer. And it was, it did not have a good time this winter, but it has bounced back a bit. And there are a couple of propagations from it that are rooted. So I'm just going to be potting that up for her. So let's do that. Since I'm just at home, I don't have like all my stuff. I don't even have a little shovel. I could probably find one. I don't feel like looking for one. So I'm just, we're just doing this barehanded. So this is the plant. It is a Tradescantia purple heart. Really cute. When it's in the sun, um, when it gets more sun, the leaves turn this like really bright purple. You can kind of see it on the back of the leaves a bit more. I'll try to get some B-roll showing it off a bit. But so we have this nice, beautiful vining plant and then there's just a couple extra propagations from it that have pretty decent roots. I'm not even sure if you can see it that well. We need a darker background. You can kind of see. So we're gonna be potting those up and then this is the pot. It is just from Old Time Pottery. It was like five bucks. I'm not upsizing it all because it's still not as full as it was when we got it, but the soil is super, super compacted and it's, it just needs new soil. And it's a very flimsy nursery pot, so I'm going to stick it in here. It should be good. If this is too small. I have, I can find another pot. There's, I have extras in my room. I'm also going to poke some extra drainage holes in the bottom of this because it's just like tin or aluminum or whatever. And it has, it has drainage holes. It has, um, it has three drainage holes already, but I just want to get some extra ones in there, you know. My parents don't know a ton about plants, and since they're taking care of these, I like to make it as easy for them as possible. So, since this is just metal, I just have a screwdriver, and if you're poking holes, like if you're, dr if you're drilling a hole into ceramic or something, you don't, you can do it from the outside. But if you're just poking a hole in plastic or metal, you're going to want to do it from the inside so that way it kind of caves out. Um, if you did it from, from this way, the excess metal would go inside and it would create this little wall around the hole and it would be harder for water to come out of it. So when it's, once it's like sitting at the bottom. So I'm just going to, you know, be careful. Alright, well, <laughs> now we just got one extra drainage hole so that we can let a little bit of extra water out. Um, just do what works. <laughs> so, let's start off. You can see it's not that compacted. Okay, never mind. Anyways, but down here it is. It's like rock solid. So... <laughs> We're just going to, I've never repotted like a bigger vining plant, so this is new. Cool. Beautiful. Can you see that? That purple? I have no idea, but it's on the roots. Um, these are some nice, healthy looking roots. Nothing's rotted. They're really chunky. So, I have no idea. There's a lot of purple on here. Are their roots purple too? I don't know. Weird. It looks like it's like flecks of paint or something. I don't know. It hasn't seemed to cause any real problems so far. I'm not going to mess with it. 
so I am just kind of loosening up. Yeah, look at that. All that purple. So I just kind of loosened up that dirt a bit. I'm gonna set her down right there. I ran out of storage, so my phone didn't save the last seven minutes. Um, but it's okay. I haven't actually planted anything yet. I was just doing everything wrong. Um, so <laughs> it wasn't a very good example anyways. We didn't miss much. So I have, I just mixed some uh, indoor potting mix with some perlite to add in some extra drainage. I took it out of its pot and breaking up some of the, some of the big chunks uh, that's like a whole ass, that's a rock. <laughs> um, just some of the chunks and loosening up the dirt, which you don't really need to do unless it's super root bound, which this plant is not. But since the soil's really compacted, I wanted to. So, because you, your, your, your roots, they will find their way into the new soil. So you don't, you don't need to break it up a ton. You don't want to disturb them a ton because it can shock your plant and lead to damage and just make it harder for your plant to be happy and we want happy plants so don't do anything to them that they're not seeming to enjoy i'm also just going to be peeling picking off some dead uh like leaves and stuff to just not have to suck up any energy from it and then I'm just, I'm honestly, I'm just dropping the dead leaves back in the soil. They can, I think they decompose on their own. I know that's a thing people do. Like, you know, obviously they decompose on their own. They just don't have anything to, like, help break them down. There's no, like, bugs in my soil. Hopefully, there shouldn't be bugs in my soil. I think my, my I don't remember if I, I probably didn't mention this. My Maranta has mealy bugs. I might have mentioned it. But... I haven't seen anything. She, I haven't seen anything in a while. She's blooming. She's been blooming for the past, like, week, which is just insane that my Maranta is flowering in March while she has mealybugs. I am not complaining. <laughs> um, I am a bit surprised, but I will, I will gladly take it. I keep my humidity in my dorm room real high. So... If you're, if you're struggling with a Maranta, boost that humidity up. They love it, apparently, because I don't have a percentage. I have no idea what percent it's at, but I keep, like, open cups of water around my room to, and by my heater to add humidity. I missed just all my plants and the air in my room. I missed a few times a day. I only miss my plants, like, once in the morning, but then I'm just all day. I'm just, like, ch -ch 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 -ch, just into the air around my, in my dorm room to help add in some extra humidity. I also have a couple, like, um, they're like little, like, water catching trays that I just put water in and set next to my plants that are more picky, like a Syngonium and my Maranta. There's one right next to my Maranta. And you need to, you need to typically refill it. Depends on how deep it is and how much water and all, how much heat you have and everything. I refill mine probably about once a week. So, not really a high maintenance thing. I just fill it up with water that it's in my like watering jug. These roots on the bottom. There's purple on the roots. I have no idea why or what the deal is. <laughs> I think it it looks like it's like paint from a previous pot is what I'm guessing because it's also the roots are very sculpted in here for the most part. So I'm just I'm breaking some of it up because. They haven't gone anywhere yet, so just doing this all very gently, not like ripping it apart. I'm kind of just like rubbing it, <laughs> um, just kind of massa gently massaging and rubbing the soil off of places where it's coming off fairly easily and kind of starting to break up, but yep, yep, yep. So, I think that's probably what I'm going to stop there. Because I don't want to break this up too much. I don't want to damage it. So now I'm going to just stick her in there. Get 
those roots tucked back in and then that is there now I am going to stick in these propagations with those awesome roots so I am going to literally just kind of stick them in here facing like the other side a little bit because it's okay like I think a lot of times people including myself you like rotate your plant all the time to make it be even which is good you do want to rotate your plant but if you want to have it like all to one side where the sun is so it's looks really good from one side and then it's kind of bald on the back that's fine because if you're only going to be seeing it from that one way you're you're going to want it to look pretty and get better light so that's what I'm going to do for for this one um kind of just like a little bit more you know spaced out to have it look a little bit more balanced but still not going to be anywhere near even which is fine this needs more perlite don't breathe it in I said that already and the thing that got cut out don't breathe in perlite dust. You should technically wear a mask while you're doing it to not breathe it in because it can, I don't even know. I think I, uh, I, uh, it's fine. I've heard people say it's a carcinogen. I haven't done my own research into it. I should, but I've seen on the internet when people like use perlite or talk about perlite and don't mention that you should be wearing a mask when you use it their entire comment section is like you're being a bad example and you know cancel culture is the most toxic thing in the world so people are like you're gonna give us all cancer you're canceled and it's dumb so wear a mask when you use perlite or don't I don't tell you what to do but know that you technically should just uh just a heads up can't say I didn't warn ya all right, so I've just got those kind of sitting in there. And I'm just going to start. I'm getting dirt all over my floor too, by the way. This is not a clean process. <laughs> so I'm really just kind of tucking and shoving it into the creeks and crevices. <laughs> You're just going to go rid of dirt. But, uh, there we go. That might help a little bit with the dirt. Got it inside of our bin now to help a bit. Don't squish anything. So, on this side, I've got to get some dirt in there. Or not dirt, soil. I think. I don't know. Don't ask me what the difference is. I've just heard, um, there's this one podcast, this plant podcast I listen to called the Fancy Plants Podcast. It's, it's quite fun. They're these three women from Alberta, Canada. They're great. Check them out if you're interested. And if you're, if you're a podcast kind of person, I definitely am. So they're fun, but the, one of one of the women on there always is like it's not dirt it's soil and I'm like what's the difference <laughs> still hasn't explained it but you know does it really matter is it one of those things where like all squares are rectangles but not all rectangles are squares or all toads are frogs but not all frogs are toads like is it one of those kind of things or is there like actually like a real difference I think dirt is like a component of soil, right? Maybe that's it. Like soil is stuff that's been purposefully mixed to plant things. I don't know. I'm guessing. <laughs> this is conjecture. <laughs> so just, just kind of patting it down. Don't want to make it too tight, but you don't want to have any giant huge air pockets in there either. I think I'm also 
My snake plant needs new dirt. I'm not going to pot it up because it's in a 10 inch pot already, maybe 12 inches. That's definitely a 12 inch pot. And I just, it needs new dirt so bad. The soil's so compacted. So I think I might also do that. If I do, you will see it in just a minute. If not, you won't. <laughs> so. Ugh. Still just. There's also some like new growth coming off of the propagations that I'm trying not to like smother in dirt, which is too late, so I'm just trying to <laughs> fix it. I'm gonna I'll wipe the leaves off and spray it down real good. So now that this is potted up, look at how nice that looks. I'm gonna use this is the water it was propagate the stuff was propagating in. I'm gonna give it a nice good drink with this, and then I'm also I'm gonna go give it more water in my sink because it's new dirt so it's super dry especially the propagations they've been living in water for the past six months they do not want to be in this super dry soil so we're going to go give this a really really good soak and let it drain out and th but this is this is how it looks it looks so good i love this pot i think the colors complement it really nicely we've got like blue green and purple now i i'm very happy with it so yay Thank you so much for joining me on this week of tackling this. I hope this was informational or at least entertaining. If you have any questions about anything or any video ideas that you would like to see in the future, drop them in the comments. I read them, so be nice. <laughs> um, thanks again, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.